As the celebrity walks down the red carpet, ladies and gentlemen, can I please request you for a round of applause for an actor, an entrepreneur, and a model, and now, of course, a very successful businesswoman, Kajal Agarwal Kichlu, in conversation with my colleague Anand Narsimha. Anand, the floor is yours. Thank you, Zaka. Ladies and gentlemen, does anybody here not know who she is? How does that feel? <laughs> Lady Singham. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. Aap sabko mera namaste. A very good evening, everyone. Thank you, Anand, for having me here. Um, it's truly an honor to be here and to have this wonderful conversation with all of you. Let me ask you this. 50 films and then you take the big plunge and then motherhood happens. 70 films. 70 films, huh? Humne 20 kam karke bataya. Sorry, galti ho gaye. But uh, how easy or difficult was it to take that call? To um, become a mother? No. To put a break on the career and to take a plunge, move to a next level. Okay, so... It's, so it's phenomenal, different levels, I know that. <laughs> but you also go through a yes, lot, don't course, you? So take course, us through that. Of course. I'm sure all the women sitting here will agree with me. It is very difficult to balance a newborn baby and get back to work. Um, more than the physically draining part, I think it's just emotionally difficult because mom guilt is real. Oh Lord. So I, I did not understand this till I got to a stage where I experienced it myself. But mom guilt is so difficult to deal with. It breaks my heart every morning when I have to leave my little baby and go to work. But of course, I love what I do. And uh, I'm sure my baby will grow up understanding the importance of work and understanding how hard his mother worked. Along, along with... Yeah, yeah, you can applaud louder. Please applaud louder. Uh, there are a lot who agree. So, and I'm sure they will. But let me also ask you this. Did, when you decided to come back, or when you said, okay, it's time to go back to work, did you look in the mirror and say, are they going to look at me differently? Are they going to accept me back into work? Am I going to find work? Did you have these insecurities or you're like, listen, let's just pick up from where we let off? As much as I'd like to say that, oh, I was this super confident, uber confident woman, to be very honest, of course, all of us go through our fair shares of insecurity. All of us wake up the next morning wondering, is life going to be the same again? Especially post baby, going through all those, uh, you know, like all of us, uh, well, a lot of us uh, would have probably stayed home for 40 days. So in that confinement, and of course there's this entire science behind it, but I don't want to get into that right now. But it, during that period, thankfully I was very well looked after by my parents and my husband and a very doting family and lots of support around me. But those nights when it's just you and your baby, you wake up at 3 in the morning, you wake up at 5 in the morning, you're feeding your baby, it's just you and him. Obviously, those thoughts creep into your mind. Obviously, you wonder, okay, is life going to be the same again? Am I still going to get that film? And I was bang in the middle of shooting three films. Mm. I just about finished my movies. I had to back out of one film um, when we found out that we were pregnant. And um, that life changed for me. So, um, during my pregnancy, of course, I did a lot of work in terms of shoot for endorsements, do a couple of other things. But my main job is to be in front of the camera for cinema. Mm. And I am a total cinema person. So, for me, of course, that was a little difficult and I did feel pangs of insecurity. But then I guess you've got to talk yourself through it. It's all in your mind. It's all about your perspective and how you deal with things. Mm. So, um, and, I, and having said that, how much ever support you have around you, at that point of time, it doesn't really matter. Because it's your own self-worth which you're questioning. It's your own self-respect and you're, you need to talk to your own head. Mm. So I guess um, that's what works for me. And I jumped straight back into work. Two months postpartum, I was riding a horse, doing martial arts, uh, doing action scenes on a harness. 
and I was in the thick of things, along with my little baby accompanying me to every shoot. Wow, phenomenal! That's phenomenal. That takes great chutzpah, or let's say, belief in your own self, if I may say that. But were there those who said, "नहीं होगा यार, मत करो"? वो तो हमेशा होते हैं। वो बेबी के पहले, बेबी के बाद हमेशा होते हैं। There are always people who want to troll, who um, don't feel happy for your success. Um, are not very happy that you are happy. <laughs> so, well, those uh, people all are just there around us all the time. And with this entire new boom of social media, of course, there are pros and cons to it. But the cons are really hard hitting. Yeah. Trolls, um, people pulling you down. People called me fat when I was pregnant. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, I have a full-fledged baby within me. But uh, that's how they are. So the best thing to do is just ignore it. But you know, I, I like to call that the lotus, you know, effect. You have to become the lotus because the lotus does not allow anything to stick on. Exactly. But how? That's very easy to say, but it's not easy to practice. And no. especially <laughs> somebody who has had huge, you know, fan following, and fans matter to a star, don't they? And when fans become critical, fans become insensitive. कहीं तो दूर दुख होता होगा या कहीं गुस्सा आता होगा ना? चुपता तो है ऑफ कोर्स चुपता है चुपता है लेकिन फिर यू नीड टू रियलाइज दैट यू आर एन इंडिपेंडेंट पर्सन यू हैव योर ओन प्राइवेट लाइफ यू गॉट अ लाइफ बियॉन्ड द फैंडम एंड द सिनेमा दैट यू रिप्रेजेंट एंड बियॉन्ड योर जॉब आई मीन वी ऑल हैव अ नाइन टू फाइव जॉब एंड देन वी ऑल हैव आवर ओन लाइफ वी गो बैक होम एंड लिव अ वेरी नॉर्मल लाइफ सो इट्स दैट कॉन्स्टेंट रिमाइंडर दैट यू नीड टू गिव योर सेल्फ दैट ओके दिस इज नॉट फॉर देम दिस इज फॉर मी Hmm. and i want to live my life the way i want to live my life so i guess that's about it aap log sab ki hichkicha ke taali kyun baja rahe hain mujhe samajh nahi aa raha ya to bajaiye ya to mat bajaiye how sweet thank you thank you thank you ab ek prashn puchta hu when you said chalo wapas kaam karte hain kajal let's get back to work theek hai momhood everything shaadi acha sab ho gaya let's get back to work which direction did you look mumbai Hyderabad or Chennai? So I'm a Bombay girl, born and raised. I started my career um, in the Hyderabad film industry, Telugu film industry, and um, majority, the, the main body of my work is Tamil and Telugu films. I have done a few Hindi films, but for me, the feeling of home is Hyderabad and Chennai, mm. and that will never go. my entire growing up my adult years were all in these these wonderful cities met wonderful people had um, amazing working experiences with some of the most regarded directors producers actors of our generation and um, yeah i always look to the south if i remember uh, you were there in that scene with aishwarya in that song yeah and then kyun happened so your first footprints were hindi film industry but you turned towards the south now you're saying when you came back when you started to come back in your career you turned towards the south is the south more accepting okay so um when i did kyu ho gaya na i was in the 10th standard uh. and the only reason i took up that film at that point of time i had no idea about what i want to do with my life where my career is headed whether i want to become an actor or not um i just did it because okay chalo offer aaya chalo ja ke Aishwarya ji se milte hain Amitabh sir se milte hain wow what an experience oh my god i got to meet these people so that was literally the only reason why i did the film and after that i finished my education i did my bachelor's of mass media um that's when i was working in my final year of college and i got my first offer for a south film and i had no idea about the south industry um i hadn't watched south cinema till i got into it and um I decided okay fine maybe one film it'll look really good on my CV let's do it and after that I'll just go get myself a fancy job and it'll make me look so versatile that oh she knows this and she can do this so that's the only reason why I thought I'll take it up but then it was one movie after the other but yes coming back to your question south is definitely very accepting but I guess there's no discount or there's no shortcut to hard work and there's no easy way to success see appreciate the point that there is phir aap ye 50 50 mat bajao yaar aapko acha laga to please zor ha that 
इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट रिएक्ट प्लीज दैट्स योर चॉइस हाफ हार्टेड रिएक्शन मत कीजिए प्लीज रिक्वेस्ट बट लेट मी आस्क यू दिस यू सेट साउथ कैन बी मोर एक्सपेक्ट देर इज नो सब्सटीट्यूट टू हार्ड वर्क बट इज देर आर इज देर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इंडस्ट्रीज वेयर हार्ड वर्क इज रिवॉर्डेड पर्हैप्स मोर साउथ ऑफ द विंदियाज इन इन द साउथ आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू स्टेम अ डिवाइड बिटवीन नॉर्थ एंड साउथ आई एम नॉट डूइंग दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से द अप्रोच इज देर अ डिफरेंस इन द अप्रोच why there are more people who prefer to work in the southern film industry compared to the hindi film industry or am i wrong totally no i don't think so i i actually don't agree with that point of view at all um a there are a lot of people who want to start their careers in hindi because it's um more nationwide recognized a language um having said that yes the south is a very friendly industry it's very accepting um there are fabulous technicians in the south there are wonderful directors and phenomenal content that is generated in over all the four languages mm. uh, telugu tamil malayalam kannada and um of course hindi has been um our matra bhasha we've all grown up watching hindi movies it is a very accepting industry it's been very kind to me as well but I prefer the ecosystem. I prefer the ethics, the values, the discipline of the South industry, which I feel is lacking in Hindi cinema. It's lacking. Very candid and uh, appreciate you taking, uh, being very frank about it. Yeah, up to language barrier bhi khatam ho gaya. Up to. Ye to main pehle din se keh rahi thi ki language ka to divide hai hi nahi. Cinema is cinema, and we can appreciate it in Spanish. and and i guess this is one thing that covid has taught us right when we were all sitting at home watching stuff on ott platforms we could watch content in any language so i have never felt the divide hmm. and for me yes it was a little difficult to learn the languages and understand culture but i actually incorporated telugu reeti rivaz in my own wedding so it's like that much that much it means to me and i feel so strongly for it and and you've also got that love no unbridled they didn't uh, of course yeah. undoubtedly so ab to wapsi ho gayi ab aap projects kar rahe hain kuch kaam hai ki nahi hai thankfully hai yaar a <laughs> god is very kind uh, i'm doing some very good movies i am working with shankar sir uh, wow. working with mr kamal hasan wow. on this project called indian 2 hmm. hindustani yes, yaar uh, this two. is hindustani 2 hmm. the so that's why you're learning martial arts That's why I was doing martial arts, hmm. and that's why I was riding a horse. Because you have to learn Adi Murai, and which was very difficult. Oh my God! But well, I was doing Kalari Paya too, and all those things. Hmm. But uh, those were difficult, but also ex- extremely challenging and a lot of fun. Hmm. And um, yeah, so now I'm back in the thick of things, doing one Hindi film, one Telugu film, and one Tamil film. Three films in all three languages that uh, she has plied her ways in, in terms of her career, in a comeback. Thank you. I have two minutes on the clock, so I'm just going to ask you one question and one question from the audience. With this promise, ki audience participation, we'll try and encourage. So, where I was not pushed for time, I'm trying to do it. One character that you want to play, irrespective of which industry, which line. One character you want to play. Okay, so this sounds very cliche, but I have genuinely been very fortunate to get. an array of characters and play like these amazing roles from a princess to a freedom fighter to everything in between but the one character that i and i love comedy like that's my favorite genre i love acting in it and i think it's extremely difficult to make people laugh it's easy to make people cry but it's really hard to make people laugh your timing has to be so bang on um having said that i think i'm a bit of a greedy actor I'm still not satisfied with just that one character that I want to play. Um I think I'd like to explore more action. Action. Yeah, so can I play James Bond? Ah, ye baat, why not? Why not? Why not? All right, less than 1 minute on the clock. One question. You choose. Yeah, yes, There are a lot of, of hands. Course. You choose who's ca- random anybody. Many choose karo. Listen, After one all. is tough, yeah. Ma'am. The, the lady behind. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, the mic is coming. Thank you. One is tough. This is not fair, Anand. We'll ask a few more. We'll, we'll ask a few more, we'll we'll ask a few more guys. We'll do one more. A very good evening to one and all. My name is Arushi Chog. 
uh, you know, when you said that you have this passion for cinema and you're a very cinema person, I could really see that fire in your eyes. So I want to understand from you, what do you do to ignite that passion? Because I'm someone, if I'm passionate about something... Okay, so how do you get the passion? You have to keep your questions short because okay. I'm running on... Uh, so I'll keep it crisp, just one... Yeah, I'll yeah, keep please. it crisp, just one line. So what do you do to ignite that passion to keep it going always? Great, thanks, Arushi. That's a phenomenal question. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Uh, and thank you for identifying how I feel. So, um, I, I did not, to be very honest with you, I did not enter the industry with so much passion. It's developed over the years. It's developed as I've gotten to understand my craft better. Um, as I've gotten to understand the technicalities of all of this better. And now I love what I do. The one thing that keeps me going is challenging myself. I think you need to always try to up your game and set the bar higher and higher and higher for yourself each time. And Great. I think passion is just a byproduct of trying to achieve your own goals. Ladies and gentlemen, Kajal Agarwal, please put your hands together. We are... It's your very good friend who's up next. So we have to do justice to him also. So okay, please. sorry guys. Next time around. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank you. Please for put your hands me. together for the wonderful Kajal Agarwal. Thank All right. You. I'd request Kajal and Anand to stay.